When creating a query, we might only be interested in certain parts of the data, like certain dates, categories of products, or other data. In Looker, we can filter the data so we only see the results we're interested in. In this video, we're going to cover basic filters, including user attribute filters. These are the types of filters you'll be using most of the time. We'll talk about advanced matches and custom filters in later videos. Here we have a query that shows a count of orders grouped by order created date and department. Looker lets us limit the data returned based on a criteria we specify by using filters. There are several ways we can add a filter to this explore. First, we can select the filter icon that appears when we hover over a field in the field picker. The selected field is added to the filters bar where we can then adjust the value of the filter. Looker gives us a list of choices to match or not match certain values. In this case, let's say we only want to see the data for a specific day, let's say Monday of last week. When we hit run, we can see that the results reflect the filter that we created and are filtered on last Monday. To remove a filter, we can simply click the X on the right hand side. We can also create a filter by hovering over a field that has already been added to the query, clicking the gear menu in the upper right, and then selecting filter. This filter will show us the results for the past seven days. It's important to understand the difference between filtering on a dimension and filtering on a measure. Filtering on a dimension removes rows from the raw data. The data is filtered first and then aggregated. But we can also filter on a measure, which does the aggregation first and then filters the results. In short, filtering on a measure filters out rows from the result set rather than the raw data. You can learn more about this topic in our documentation. If our administrator has set up user attributes, we can also filter on those user attributes. For example, let's say each individual on our team focuses on order shipping from a specific distribution center. If this is the case, our Looker administrator could set up a user attribute that specifies the distribution center for each person. Then we could create a filter on the user attribute So when we run the query, it filters for our distribution center. For example, our distribution center is Los Angeles, so the query is filtered to only include orders coming from the Los Angeles distribution center. This is especially useful if we're going to share the query with a colleague or have other members of our team take a look at this query frequently. That's because if someone else runs the query, Looker will filter the query for their distribution center. For example, Marcel's distribution center is New York, so the query is filtered to only include orders from that distribution center. Finally, there's another simple way to filter. If I click on a dimension value, I can add a filter for that specific value. In this case, my results are going to be filtered on the men's department. 